Hey, this is Rich from Lower West Side Studio, and I just want to show you what a piece of AND Boolean logic can do for you. Uh, I apologize for the quality of this moving video and the sound, but just wanted to show quickly. Basically, what I've got is I've got a clock signal coming in from my MIDI to CV converter. It's being generated by a, by a Roland uh, A300 keyboard uh, that I'm using as a clock source. But I also want to control the sound using uh, the keyboard, uh, another keyboard, which is coming in through this MIDI interface here, the Q174. Uh, but the thing is, I only want the sound to come out when I press a key on the keyboard. So, how do I do that? Well, if I plug the clock source directly into my multiple, and then this multiple is going into clock divider and a whole bunch of other stuff that then ends, ends up in the sequencer, uh, if I plug the the output of the clock right into this multiple, the sound goes right out to the to the uh, uh, clock divider and everything starts getting triggered, including the envelopes. But I only want the trigger to happen when I press a key. Um, I'm pressing a key. So what I did was I ran the clock source out of the MIDI converter and into this input one of the AND module. The second input comes from, it's hard to see here, the gate out on the .com Q174. And again, that goes into the second AND. Then the signal from there comes out, goes back into the multiple, and then from here it goes all yonder and into the patch. We're not gonna get it into the patch because we don't really care about that. What happens here though, you see is nothing is happening on the AND until I press a key. Press a key again. Press a key again. So basically, unless it's getting a clock and another gate, the signal doesn't pass through. And that's what you can use an AND module for. Now, of course, the, the CGS36 has OR modules and inverters and XORs and XNORs and so forth, but this is only about the AND. Hope you liked it.